Hello all. I want to share a few photos on a new restoration that I'll be working on in the next uh, month or so. It's a beautiful Zenith 808 tombstone from 1934 that my dad just recently acquired. This cabinet's in remarkable condition. You can see in the photos there's very, very few flaws. My dad's going to actually take this on take care of the cabinet, clean it up again. There's no need to do a refinish on this beautiful cabinet on this Zenith 808. Just a good cleaning, a little bit of touch up, and this thing's gonna look wonderful. In the photograph I'm showing right here is one of the areas that will need just a little bit of touch up. There's some tape placed here now just to keep a loose piece of veneer from uh, separating. And you can see the top of the radio. I think all this will clean up rather nicely. The other side of the radio looks clean. Taking a look here at the beautiful inlay work on this cabinet, it's remarkable. A new dial glass will be placed. Also, my dad has the bezel, which I don't have in the photographs that I'm sharing. In addition, you can see some damage to one of the wooden knobs here, the actual tuning knob. And my dad will probably try a repair on that, and if not successful, we'll just look for a replacement knob down the road. As you can see in the photos that I'm sharing, the radio has four controls. The first there, again, being the tuning itself. Moving down to the left bottom is the actual on-off and volume control. The bottom center is the tone control. And then the last control is over to the right bottom, which is the band selection switch to select between short wave and the broadcast band. I love this staircase design that they did as well, right above the speaker grill area. So I tell you, taking a look at this, again, I think it's going to really be a very beautiful, presentable radio. Uh, just a little bit of cleanup. Uh, again, not a complete refinish, and this thing's going to really display well. So I'll tackle the electrical side of it and try to get this back to uh, my dad here in the very, very near future. A close-up of the name tag here, and again, you can see the uh, chassis number printed on the chassis, the 5605. The chassis itself looks relatively clean. Again, there's a few small spots with some rust I may do some spot removal on. You can see here that the speaker and the fill coil wires have been spliced at some point in time. Hopefully that doesn't mean there's a problem. Uh, we'll find out when we get into the restoration itself, and then I'll try to clean that up just a little bit. The speaker cone itself looks good from what I can see. Again, I haven't looked at the front side because I haven't pulled it out of the cabinet. But we'll take a close look at that. The radio uses six tubes, a 6D6RF, a 6A7 first detector oscillator, a 6D6, which is the IF amp, a 75, the second detector AVC, and also the first audio, a 42 power, and the rectifier tube is a Type 80. The two electrolytic cans are still there, the 16 microfarad and the 8 microfarad. Here I'm showing the detector coil, the RF coil. Next is the oscillator coil, the first IF transformer, and then lastly, the second IF transformer. Thanks again for stopping by and viewing this video on this beautiful Zenith Tombstone Model 808 from 1934.